Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Capricorn? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling, oh, Cappies. Let's do a little full moon reading for you. A quick little energy check-in for you, Capricorns. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Capricorn collective. Capricorns, what's going on? Ooh, don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> right? Okay, Cappies, I like that. No more heartbreak for you. I think you're blocked from a lot of things. A lot of protection going up. You got your blinders on. A lot of you just doing what you need to be doing. Yeah. You're healing. Focusing on the healing. So this is like, don't go back to any, you know, situations. People, places, things that, you know, caused you grief. Move on. Move onward. Look, Homeward Angel. Well, that's a book, isn't it? Look, Homeward Angel. Be positive. Be positive. Capricorns, what's up? What do you need to know right now? What do you need to be focusing on? What's going on here? The tower moment. Ooh, but you know, a lot of that brings uh, endings, bring new beginnings, right? So something's going to end. Death card and the Ten of Cups. But I think what that is, because we got this Page of Cups at the bottom. I've seen this little dude. Um... I think you're you're getting past that sort of negative energy. You're getting past that sort of, uh, you know, uh, the ties that bind type energy. If you've held on to uh, situations, thoughts, feelings, things that you didn't need, you're going to be able to uh, disconnect from that energy. Heavy scorpionic energy here. Moving forward, because once you release from that sort of, that, that heartbroken energy, that, that space of feeling uh, void, of feeling hurt, you know, your heart has to heal. You can't stay in that energy forever, y'all. You, you pick yourself up and you start all over again. Ten of Cups happiness. It's there, but you got to kind of erase that sort of uh, negative hold or any negative energies that are preventing you from moving forward, right? It's the love or not the love. Yeah, some of you are moving forward and leaving someone else out in the cold. For a lot of you, it's that turn back around energy. That tower could be this person that you leave out in the cold as you start giving to new situations. Now, this doesn't mean you have to rush into a relationship, but you're getting back out there. You're understanding the importance. It's the love or not the love, y'all. There are plenty of fish out there in the sea. You got to get out there and see because you notice that's there's a fish in that cup, Piscean energy. Heavy on the water sign, you've got Scorpio here. We got Pisces energy, but you got to get out there. You got to love again. It's the love or not the love, y'all. And as you move forward, someone's going to be shitting and a getting it, okay? And that ain't your freaking problem. Someone could be getting some, some conflict in a relationship, right? Living in a house divided with the love that's so one-sided. <laughs> Good old share, right? What's going on here? Five of Pentacles. Someone stopped giving to a situation. But the Seven of Swords here. Seven of Swords, the Hermit and the Lover. Some of you all could be getting communication from someone, and that could be this tower moment. For some of you, that could be the tower moment. If someone starts heading towards you and they're still in a relationship, don't let this person bring a tower to your doorstep. Here's Gemini energy, right? Someone could be coming in. <sighs> I'm going to say this is someone wanting to come in to bring this tower moment because someone's in a situation they ain't too happy to be in. Someone stopped giving to a situation. But if someone's still holding on, look at that, four... Uh, pentacles, the will of fortune, and the four of cups. Some of y'all, it's a missed opportunity. You realize that, right? It's okay for you to walk away because someone just missed out on you. Because now someone stopped giving to a situation and there could be some conflict. Living in a house divided with the love that's so one-sided. Right? You're free to choose, but be careful who you choose. But do not let that energy bring that tower into your life. 
Okay? It is not worth it, y'all. It is not worth it. You need to end a situation. A lot of that's going to bring about endings. Once you get over that restriction that has held you into place, for some of you, maybe you think, uh, you know, if something's meant to be yours, it's going to come back around. It's going to come back around in the right energy. It's going to come back around in the right way. You all know a person can't leave one situation and go automatically into another. That's just a recipe for disaster. But that don't mean that someone ain't going to try. So, some of you started dating somebody or seeing somebody, right? Maybe make sure that they are fucking single. Because I just feel this is you getting out there, right? You're you're removing from that heartbreak energy. You're realizing it's, it's the lover, not the love. It's the person you were dealing with, not the love. Right? And as you move forward and start giving situations, someone could be getting jealous and, and be feeling this sort of way, right? Yeah, you know the energies that want to take you off the market just so no one else can have you, even though they don't plan on putting forth any time and effort towards you, because they still got another mess to clean up. But they just don't want you out there finding a better replacement. I'm gonna tell you all, any day of the week, there's a better version. Yeah, look at this. This you gotta end this heartbreak, y'all. You got to go out there and start new. Whatever the hell this is. For a lot of you, this is love. Because I have to tell you, I was drawn to the love message deck. But I didn't realize we were going here. But here we go. If it's dealing with your heart. Let's see what other cards we got. The world card. Someone could be seeing what the hell you're doing online. Five of swords. Don't post your shit. Don't let people know what the fuck you got going on. If you're happy, keep that shit to yourself. You start dating someone, keep that shit to yourself. Everyone don't need to know. Yeah, there's definitely an ending here. For a lot of you, it's ending that, that toxic connection. The one that kept you bound and stuck. Making you feel like you couldn't find someone better. Someone that made you feel like you couldn't do any better than them. Because that's that negative thinking that's going to keep you stuck. Let's find this Ten of Cups energy. What's this Ten of Cups energy all about? So you got a fire sign here that's carrying a burden. Then you got a Queen of Swords. A lot of you. This is wising up, right? You don't want anybody that's carrying a burden. They look. See, here they are. They're showing up like a King of Wands, but... Some of you are not realizing exactly how much uh, they got on their plate. How much they got going on in the background. Best stop to it. Especially if it's come back around energy. Because this person can't come in and build in this situation. They're too preoccupied with shit. King, Queen of Swords at. Oh, here we got the Empress and the Sun card. Yeah, you go be happy. You go be you. You're the Empress, right? Get out there and show off. Look good. Happiness. You can have that Ten of Cups without somebody. You can create that sort of energy without the person next to you, right? Because the right person will come in and just fit right into that. Or you into their situation. So, okay, Capricorns, let's throw one of these little love message cards down here. Since apparently, this is what we got. What do you have for Capricorn in this? In this love. This is about love, y'all. So those of you that are not interested in love, there you go. Take it or leave it. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go. Okay. But, you know, I'm somewhere between giving up and seeing how much more I can take. Is that your energy or someone else's? I'm afraid of rejection. I can't stop thinking about you. You are on my mind 24-7. See, the thing with this is some of this is, is sort of that negative thinking, right? I'm somewhere between giving up and seeing how much more I can take. I can't stop thinking about you. You're on my mind 24-7. That's obsessive thinking. That That's someone that really, if they're thinking about it, but they're not doing anything, what's that tell you, right? Somehow that's that king of wands energy. But be be careful because if you bring energies like that in, they're not able to do the work that's needed because they got a whole bunch of shit they got to deal with in the background. Please stay in my life. I don't want you to go. They don't want you to go, but they don't want to go nowhere either. They don't want you to go, but they can't take any action. Why? Because they're afraid of rejection. Ooh. 
You know, being afraid of yes or no has killed a lot of opportunities for people. Either get the fucking answer and move on from that or what. But staying in this negative energy, negative way of thinking ain't going to get your ass nowhere. It's a yes or a no, right? There you go. Move the fuck on. I like this Capricorn. So a lot of you, this is going to be breaking, severing those ties and, and just... You know, you're drawing the line in the sand and you're actually sticking to it, getting out there. And that doesn't mean you have to necessarily want to get into a relationship, but at least you're open to the possibility. You're getting out there. You're putting yourself out there. You realize it, it, love isn't the problem. For a lot of you, it's the, the, the lovers, the people that you bring into your situation, right? The emotion love ain't, ain't the issue. It's the people that you give it to, Right? Capricorns, go get that Ten of Cups happiness. Quit waiting around for it. You know, hell, we, ain't none of us getting any fucking younger. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Cappies, what can I say? I wasn't planning on love, but that what you got. Good luck with that. Go. Go show off. Go be happy. Okay? Go be happy, Cappies. <laughs>